you guys so we are back again with another part to the series and as you can see the dresser is cleaned out from part one and I have put a whole new sector of perfumes on the top so I probably am going to have four parts because I don't want to make the videos too long these videos being 30 minutes I think that is a good time so yeah we're probably going to end up with four parts to my perfume collection so let's get right into the second part Okay, you guys, so now we're going to start with my Nicki Minaj collection. I have been collecting these perfumes almost since the debut fragrance, which is Pink Friday. This was the pillar. And before I show you this collection, I do want to mention that even though all of these perfumes are from Nicki Minaj, I'm kind of glad that she did not name all the perfumes the same and just add a little extra word because it, it makes them more personal. But this first one is Pink Friday. And you guys, it's this sweet caramel, fruity floral. It's so nice. And these perfumes are so underrated from Nicki Minaj. The bottles are just gorgeous. This is what makes it so, so unique and so nice. So I am in love with this Pink Friday. And the tops has come up like that. But I am literally, look at how much juice I only got in this bottle. It is time for me to restock this. What I have left in the bottle, it is starting to turn a little bit, so I'm definitely gonna have to um, restock this. And all of these are eau de parfums, except for one. So all nine, she has nine, are all eau de parfum, except for one that's an eau de toilette. But the next one um, is Monogesty. Now this is one where she actually used red berries in it, is definitely different than Pink Friday. This one is a little bit sweeter, but more berry scented. So it's really, really nice. And this was her second release, which is Monogesty. And you guys, this is my, I'm still on the first bottle. And I bought this bottle probably about four years ago. I don't wear it that much, but I still do love the scent. And this is her berry scent. And, and again, this one is Monogesty. Then next up, she came out with a flanker to Pink Friday, and I do believe it was this one, which is the special edition. So this one is an eau de toilette. This one has pear and caramel, I believe. And this one is so pretty, but it is limited edition. And this one is the only one that is an eau de toilette, but I love this scent, and I actually have another bottle of this. So I have two bottles, so I'm kind of preserving this. And all of her bottles do not have a necklace. So only the ones that are um, flankers, the original or flanker to Pink Friday, they actually have the necklace. And these only come on the large bottles. I don't think this comes on a 1.7 ounce. But honey, you might as well just go ahead. If you're going to get this, buy these in the full size bottles. Because these are so pretty. And they're, you can find all of these for a good deal. So that was the next one. And then she came out with this one. The gold one which is the deluxe edition this one has patchouli it's a little bit more elegant but it's really woody I still love the scent don't wear it as much as I wear the others but it's still a very nice scent and this packaging is gorgeous and she does have a necklace on this one but this next one I'm gonna grab I do believe her next one was it's Onika honey look look at this let me turn it upside down so you can see better y'all can see how much juice I have left in Onika so I definitely need to restock on Nika, but I absolutely love this fragrance. This is my favorite one from Nicki Minaj. It has a little bit of aquatic note. It's so nice, but still has, you know, a lot of similarities to the original, but it's still very different. I love this one, and this is my favorite, and this one is Onika. Yeah, so... Onika is almost gone, honey. And these bottles are a really good size. So this one is Onika. Okay, and then I believe she came out with this one here, which is Monogesty. But this is a Monogesty Exotic. And this one has a pineapple note. This is so, so nice. And as you can see, I am... You know, I still have quite a ways to go on this one. I love this scent. And this is where she has the yellow wig. And like the bustier, this one is really, really nice. I love this scent as well. And yeah, this was the next release. And the next one was 
This is the pink print. Now, she named this one after her album, The Pink Print. And this is a coconut bomb. This is the one that is very, very prominent with coconut. And let me turn it around here so you can see where I am on this bottle. And I've had these bottles for a while. I believe I picked this up maybe three or four years ago. And that's where I'm at on this bottle. But I love this scent. And again, this one is The Pink Print. And this one has some good lasting power on it. But it is a coconut bomb. But I still absolutely love this one as well. And this one again is the pink print. Okay. And her second to latest release is Trini Girl. Now this one is very, very tropical. This one is so, so nice. And I don't know why, but I pick up the note of cucumber. And there isn't cucumber at all in this scent. But it really, really reminds me of like cucumber melon. This is so nice. My husband loves this one too, and I do too. And this one, I am about, maybe about a fourth of the way down on this one. But yeah, you guys, I do like to pick this one up in the summertime or heading into fall. This one is so nice. So this one again is Trini Girl. And last but not least, we have Queen. Now, I will say, this was my least favorite, okay, because this, she did add bergamot and praline. It kind of smelled slightly masculine to my nose, so I was a little disappointed with this one. It's not bad, you guys. It actually did wear pretty well on my skin, but honey, I have other ones that I love more, but it's still a nice scent. It's not a bad scent from Nicki Minaj, but she's, Nicki Minaj quoted herself that this was her best fragrance, but honey, I, I beg to differ. I like other ones better, but the key thing about this bottle is it has a necklace, okay? And remember that only the three at the top actually have the necklace because these two are a flanker to Pink Friday. So you have Pink Friday Original, Pink Friday Special Edition, and Pink Friday Deluxe Edition, and then you have Queen. So, you guys, honestly, I think this is, <laughs> this could have actually been a flanker in this category okay because it does smell kind of similar but yeah I still like it and she still is pretty much full I haven't worn a lot but I have got some good sprays out of it and it did come with this queen box I don't want to um blind you but it did come in this packaging which was a nice added touch to the collection and I absolutely love my collection but this is what I have I have the full collection and this is a collection that I will continue to purchase I am obsessed with this collection and I will forever have this. So once I run out of any one of these, you guys, I will definitely replace them. So that is where I sit with my Nicki Minaj collection. So let's move right on to the next collection. Okay, so next up we have my Marc Jacobs collection. And I have been collecting these for quite a while. A couple of them I actually have in a gift set. So I will show the gift sets after I talk about each one. And this is the first one I will talk about. And this is Marc Jacobs Decadence, also decadent. This is my favorite one from the Decadence line. This is really, really nice and fruity pear. It's a pear woody fragrance. It's so pretty. I love this one. This is the only one that I love from the Decadence line. So we have that one. Okay, and next up we have Dot, which is also a red berry scent from Marc Jacobs. Kind of mature, but still really fruity, a little woody. I do really like this one too. I've had this one for several years as well. And over here on the side, you guys, the little thing broke off right here, the little B. It broke off, so yeah, I don't know how that ended up happening, but it did. And, and I, when it broke, I don't know where the piece is at, so I just like to put it back in the box so it doesn't get any further damage to it. So that is Dot. And then this next one I have is Honey. And you guys, Honey is more like a, of an acquired scent. This has notes of Honeysuckle. And this is a really, really nice Honeysuckle. You have to really be into Honeysuckle to like this one. It's slightly sweet. It's not a really sweet, like gourmandish sweet type perfume. But it's like a sweet floral. And you really, really get the notes of Honeysuckle out of this one. So I am, this is a full bottle. And I actually found this one for a good deal. So I was so elated to add this one to my collection. Because now, honey, what they're charging on these websites for this perfume, it is ridiculous. So if you run into this for a good deal, go ahead and grab it because these bottles 
are these bottles are kind of hard to come by especially for a good price so if you find one definitely get it if you are a collector of Marc Jacobs perfumes so I do have that one and moving right along my next one is Marc Jacobs Daisy and this one is kind of newer in my collection as you can see I really don't it's still kind of full I've only worn spray this going to bed I haven't actually worn it out yet so I am looking forward to trying this this coming up spring and a little bit of summer because it is a fresh scent and there is talk about this being a dupe to Chanel Chanch or Tendre I would have to agree it is kind of similar but there are a lot of differences so yes this is um, Marc Jacobs Daisy and I do have the gift set for Daisy which is right here I might as well show the gift set so I did find this gift set on sale and I went ahead and picked it up. So with the gift set, um, it does come with a uh, purse spray. I think this is a 10 mil. And it also comes with the body lotion. And Marc Jacobs lotions are really, really good um, with layering for the perfume. You know how sometimes you get a gift set and the lotion doesn't smell anything like the perfume? I can't stand that. But that, Marc Jacobs ones are really good. And also Versace. Versace ones are really good as well. So this next one is Daisy. Now, I mean, Daisy Dream. Now, I haven't had this one that long. And this one is kind of new. I just didn't show it in a perfume haul because I found it on sale. You guys, I think I got the gift set for this for a really good deal. I think it was like $60 for the gift set. So I went ahead and got it. But this one is Daisy Dream. This is kind of similar to the original Daisy. Just maybe a little bit of more of a fruity tone. If this perfume is okay, I'm not in love with it, but I just have to wear it at the right time. And I know for fall and winter, no, this is not a fall and winter scent. So that is why I have not worn it. Um, I have worn it to bed just to test it to see how long it would last. It is a nice scent, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep this because I would have to love it in order to really keep it into my collection. Or keep it in my collection. I would have to really love it and... I'm not in love with it as of yet. But this one is Daisy Dream. And I also have this in a gift set. And I will show you the gift set. Okay, so this Daisy Dream gift set is almost just like Daisy. But it does have a little sample, a little miniature bottle. And it also has the lotion. The, the lotions for Marc Jacobs are really good. So I probably, if I keep the bottle, I would definitely be using the lotion. Because that's good to layer it with. So that is the gift set for Daisy Dream. Okay, now we're going to move right on to the Lola. So I have the original Lola. And you guys, this is an acquired scent. But it's actually not bad. I really started to get into the pepperiness of this perfume. And I've had Lola for years. She even got a little dust on her. I don't, let me see if I can zoom in. Here she is. So yeah, she even has just a little bit of dust on her. But I've had this for years and I'm starting to really like this. And this is like a collector's bottom because right now these are so expensive. So I'm definitely going to keep this Lola. I'm going to keep it for just nostalgic purposes because I've had this bottle for so long. You know, when I first tried it, I really liked it. But then once my palette started changing and I started getting some more Grimond sweet type perfumes, I stopped wearing this one. So I did try it again and I really started to like it. So again, this one is is Lola okay and moving right along this one is the flanker to Lola and this is oh Lola now this is a fresher more spring summery type scent still really floral but also fruity I really do love this one and this one is another one that's hard to come by for a good deal so I'm definitely going to keep this one in my collection for again nostalgic reasons because I really really like this and I found this a couple of years ago maybe three or four years ago maybe three years ago I can't remember I know I've had it for a while and yeah this is a nice pretty scent from Marc Jacobs as well and this one is Olola Okay, so that is my collection from Marc Jacobs. So I do have seven perfumes from Marc Jacobs. Oh, and I didn't mention that I have from Nicki Minaj. There are nine. And then there are seven from Marc Jacobs. So moving right along, we're getting into my Valentino collection. I only have two perfumes from Valentino, which is the Valentino Donna 
Eau de Parfum, and then the Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Now, these bottles are so, so pretty, you guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness, but this scent, honey. Let me, ooh. Yeah, I'm just really trying to get into this scent, but this packaging is so pretty. And then this Valentino Donna Born in Roma. This is the latest flanker from Valentino Donna. And I just acquired this one. And she is so, so gorgeous. Love this one. So that is my collection from Valentino. But I do actually have the gift set for the Valentino Donna. Okay, so moving right along. Next up is my John Paul Gaultier collection. And I do have four from John Paul. And I have a Scandal uh, Petit, Scandal Eau de Parfum, and then Scandal by Night Eau de Parfum. So, and also I do have La Belle. But all of these are um, Eau de Parfum, and this one is an Eau de Toilette. But you guys, as far as the Scandal collection, John Paul Gaultier fragrances are like over the top. So you have to really be into heavy, strong, powerful, over the top, obnoxious perfumes in order to really enjoy these i do love it and it did take for my palette to mature more for me to really enjoy these these are one of a kind and what i can say is that there isn't a lot of perfumes that smells just like it i mean you there's only so many notes and fragrances but honey these are really really good i love all of them okay but by far my favorite from the scandal line is this scandal by night and these bottles are so nice i love this one this is really sweet and it has a tuberose note in it that's really sweet, okay? So it's really, really nice. It's more creamier and sweet. This one has that really in-depth honey smell that a lot of people really don't like. But honey, I'm here for it. I love it. And then you have the Scandal Eye Petty. It's more fruity and it's a little bit lighter. And this is the Eau de Toilette, okay? And lastly, I do have La Belle, which I just featured not too long ago. And I love this scent. It's definitely over the top. It's sweet. It's very woody, but it's really sweet and it's good. It's pear. It's a pear woody scent. It is so nice and it lasts forever. Oh my goodness. And this bottle, you guys look at this bottle. This is so pretty. I love this one. Okay, so I mean, this is my John Paul Gaultier collection, and I do have four. So we're gonna move right along to the next collection. Okay, so next up we have Tom Ford, and I have five perfumes from Tom Ford. This first one I have is Metallic. This is really, really nice. I really like this one. And this next one that I have is from the Orchid Collection, and this one is Tom Ford's Orchid Soleil. Love this one as well. This one is really, really creamy. It is mature, but it's a creamy scent, and it lasts for a long time. It's more gourmandish type sweet, but it's really, really nice. It's elegant. It is a mature perfume, though. And about this time forward, it's also a, like, it's almost like an acquired scent. It's either a love or a hate when you first smell Tom Ford. But in the beginning, you guys, I was not here for Tom Ford, okay? I tried a couple, and I was like, ugh. But then I smelled this one, okay? I strayed away from Tom Ford perfumes, and then I tried this Velvet Orchid and fell in love. This is so beautiful, and it is strong as ever. So, yeah, that is Velvet Orchid, and then I went ahead and got Velvet Orchid Lumiere. It is slightly different than the original Velvet Orchid, but, yeah, I still love it, and all of these are... Eau de Parfums, and I have this one in a 1.7, except for this one. This latest one that I picked up is the Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc, and this one is an Eau de Toilette, and you guys, this is a coconut bomb, okay? But it's not a sweet coconut. It's like pure coconut, and it's so nice and aquatic smelling. I love this one, okay? So again, it took me some time to get into Tom Ford, but now I absolutely love his fragrances. So that is my Tom Ford collection, and I do have five from Tom Ford. So let me move on to the next one. And this next collection is from Oscar de la Renta. Now, these are the only Oscar de la Renta perfumes that I have in my collection. And I have the latest release, which is Oscar de la Renta Bella Essence. This is an Eau de Parfum, and I do have this one in a full-size 100 ml. And then this was the original. Um, this is the Pillar fragrance for the Bella collection. And this one is Bella Blanca. And this one is a beautiful, sweet tuberose scent. 
I love this, okay? And then this last one that I have, this which was the second release from Oscar De La Renta, and this one is Bella Rosa. So this is more of like a rose scent. So that is my collection from Oscar De La Renta. I only have three from that collection. So let's move it right along. Okay, and I just recently did a review of this collection, which is my Issey Miyake. And this one is Issey Miyake Lodissi. Low de Toilette. And this next one, this one is the Low Dissy Absolute. Now, this is the one that has honey. You guys, this is so nice, honey. Listen, I know it's a floral, but huh, I wish I'd have got this one. I wish, I truly wish that I would have picked this up in the full size. This is only a 1.6, but it's still a lot of juice in here. So, and this bottle is actually kind of tall. But, yep, this one is the absolute version. This is an eau de parfum. This one is an eau de toilette. I think I said that. And then, lastly, I have the pure nectar. Yeah, so this one is low to see pure nectar and this one is from the pure line this is the only one that i have from the pure line i did just recently sell my low to see um pure nectar de patel and that one was the eau de toilette but very similar scent but this one is a little bit heavier so love this one and you guys can see where i'm at on this bottle and i've been spraying this this is such a metallic nice floral it's really really nice i love this one so that is my Ismiyaki collection, and I do have three from Ismiyaki. Okay, so now we're going to move on to my Kenzo collection. And look, I can't even get the whole bottles in the, in the shot. So here, let me, let me adjust this. So I had to adjust it a little bit. So I have the Kenzo Flower Elixir, which is my absolute favorite perfume from Kenzo. Absolute favorite. And I've tried several. This is a Raspberry Rose gourmandish type perfume orange blossom this is heaven in a bottle pretty sweet gourmandish type perfume and this next one that i have this one is kenzo flower eau de lumiere you guys this one is more floral it's still fresh and it has notes of musk so i did end up getting this one in a gift set and these bottles are huge these bottles are humongous okay but i did get this one in a gift set and i will show you and this is how this gift set looks and it also came with a little smaller bottle so i'm just going to pull it out and this one is the this is the 15 mil this one is a perfect um size to travel with it's 15 mil and it is it came in a gift set and this one you guys i really do like this but it is really floral. I think this is more of a springtime scent. So, yeah. So, I did get the gift set for that. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the box. And I'm still intrigued to try more of Kenzo perfumes. I did um, try the World Power when I was at Dillard's. Um, that one was okay. It tried a little bit masculine for me, but it was still decent. But now we're going to move on to the next collection, which is my versace collection and i have um one two three four five six seven eight nine eight, ten i have ten perfumes from versace and this one here which is versace woman really really nice and fresh but definitely woody this is a woody perfume it's really really pretty i've had this one for quite a while and we're gonna move right along and this next one, you guys, I've talked about this one several times. I love my Versace red jeans. This is a beautiful peach nectarine scent, a beautiful peachy scent. It's still alluring and a little musky, but peach, this is really nice. I love my Versace red jeans. Okay, so, and then this next one is Versace Versants. Now, this is one that is considered unisex, but this is so fresh. It's like a fresh citrus, like a fresh bergamot guys it really really can be worn by a male or female this is unisex it's really nice and fresh i love this one and then next up we have this one which is versace euros pour femme this is the eau de toilette version i love this perfume okay you can see where i'm at on this perfume you guys oh my goodness and this is only the 1.7 I am looking for a gift set, um, a full-size bottle with the lotion because I love Versace lotions. 
they are so good so i'm trying to find me a gift set for a good deal so yes i'm definitely going to pick me up a full size set of this i love this it's so fresh citrusy beautiful summer scent compliment getter honey so this is my versace euros pour femme or the toilette okay now we're going to move to the crystals but before we get to the crystals i wanted to let you guys know that i do have um gift sets i have the versace versants and it also came with the lotion and shower gel my here is my um versace yellow diamond gift set which came with the lotion and shower gel and also my versace bright crystal set came with the lotion and shower gel but now we're going to get down to the crystals and this one is bright crystal and this is the eau de toilette and honey i've been spraying this to bed this is so good this is so good i love this one okay and then next up i have the versace um bright crystal absolute this is the eau de parfum version of bright crystal the scent is slightly different it but it, it is definitely a longer lasting version of the original but i still i love both of them both of them are really nice so moving right along i have versace yellow diamond and i was a yellow diamond fiend for so long yellow diamond is so nice i love this one really fresh with some similarities to versace euros parfum eau de toilette but this one is not as sweet but it's still a very very nice scent so this is the yellow diamond eau de toilette and then i just recently picked this one up not too long ago and this is the versace yellow diamond intense so this is the eau de parfum version of yellow diamond it's not the same scent they are different okay this one dries down a little bit more why am i here sitting here talking like i'm doing a review y'all i'm not reviewing this i'm just showing it so this one is versace yellow diamond intense and definitely a different scent but still really really nice okay so moving along to my last two i have versace crystal noir love this one this is a nice going out date night perfume this is a coconut scent as well okay just a tad bit spicy but definitely a nighttime perfume and this one is the eau de toilette this is the eau de toilette and i have this one in the one in the 50 ml 1.7 ounce and then i went ahead and i picked up the eau de parfum version of this perfume now are these perfumes the same? Do they smell different? Y'all know y'all just gonna have to wait until I review it. <laughs> but this one is Crystal Noir Eau de Parfum. I would definitely give you guys the scoop or spill the tea on if you need both or if you only need one and which one is better. So that is my Versace collection. I have 10 in that collection. And that will conclude part two. I really hope you guys enjoyed this part two. So in part three, I will be going over my Gucci collection, my Dolce & Gabbana collection, my Paco Rabanne, Carolina Herrera, um, a lot. Okay, so we still have probably two more parts to go. But this is part two, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me go ahead and just scam a little bit of what we've done for part two. So that is it. And I hope you guys enjoy this. And I will definitely see you back for part three.